I made a working mech that actually walks in Build-A-Boo for treasure for you guys to build. Mechs are exceptionally cool to have, whether it's from walking around the Build-A-Boo map, battling your friends, or attempting to get to the end. Needless to say, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe so you can stay tuned for more awesome content and tutorials in the near future, including builds, even more mechs, and AFK farm. It's completely free, guys, and you can always unsubscribe. Let's hop into the video. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Pookis back with another video. And today, we're going to be checking out and building this advanced mech. Also, quick disclaimer, this is mobile friendly, so all you mobile players can actually build it. Shout out to all of those mobile players out there. This mech can literally just take you anywhere throughout the build boat map. You guys can also use this for PvP. Um, this is basically what I said in the intro. Anyways, I'm going to just test it out by selecting all and unanchoring. As you guys can see, the robot has come to life. With a flick of a switch, I can actually walk super smoothly by moving left to right uh, if you're on mobile and actually um, pressing A and D on the computer. And as you guys can see, it's really smooth with the use of servos. The servos basically give it the walking animation movement. And you can literally go to anyone's plots. Like as you guys can see, I'm on yellow team now. And you guys can just slide your way around to places. I'm pretty sure you guys would be able to get to the end if you guys would actually try to get to the end by just walking to the end. That would actually be super cool if someone was actually watching you get to the end in this mech. What's also cool about this thing is that most mechs actually can't go up the river, but however, this one can walk up on the river. This mech takes a little tiny bit of skill to actually control by um, spamming A and D to actually walk. And yeah, so I added a little tiny setting on this actual mech, so I'm just gonna be showing it to you guys. It's actually a little dancing animation. So I'm gonna just put it into this dancing mode, whatever it is. And there we go, we just got it onto dancing mode. I oh my gosh, this guy's literally dancing. Dancing. Okay, I'm actually gonna try to walk with this dancing animation, bro. I'm literally doing the Harlem shake while walking forward and then my legs look at those legs, bro My feet are literally going up and down because of this dance animation. Okay I'm just gonna put it back to normal and there we go. We popped back into normal mode Anyways enough is said so let's get straight into the tutorial So for this build you guys will be needing plastic blocks glass blocks, and also a pilot seat. You will also be needing the servos and the old car wheels. Basically how to get them is you guys would buy them over here in the shop for the legacy car pack right here. It looks like this. You guys can go ahead and buy it for four wheels and two servos. So just keep on buying it until you have enough servos and wheels. For the tools, you guys will be needing the wrench tool, the scale tool, and the screwdriver tool. So for your settings, put your merging level onto red, and that's basically it, and make sure to have anchor block on. So first, place five rods so one two three um three four five um like this and then go ahead and delete the three middle ones then put your uh, move onto 0 0.5 and place a plastic block on each side on the corners so basically you guys just want to place it right here on each of the corners like this now we're going to scale down one time on each side and scale out two times on each side like this so one two and then scale out four times um right here so one two three four and one two three four like that so you guys should have a total of four studs one stud and six studs by the way studs are in the left middle corner if you guys um don't know what studs are they're basically just increments of blocks so now what you guys want to do is go to the back of the foot and actually place a plastic block on each side halfway like that then go ahead and scale it up on each side too and then scale it out until 10 studs. So I'm gonna scale it out until 10 studs. As you guys can see in the left middle, it says 10. That means you guys did it right. So it's just 10 studs like this. Now we're gonna do the same for the middle. So delete both of the rods and then place a plastic block on each side, halfway like that, and scale it up one time on each side and then scale it out until it's 10 studs right here, like this. And we do the same for this side like that. Now you guys wanna get your servos, put your move back to one and rotate like this and face your servo like this. And your servo should be in the center of this block right here, as you guys can see it's in the center, and it's faced that way. So I'm gonna do the same for this side, but rotate it differently like this and place it right here. Now what you guys wanna do is get another plastic block. I'm gonna get it right here, and I'm gonna place one on each side, so one right here and one right here. Then scale it up until four studs like this. I'm gonna do it like this. Now we're gonna be making bases for each leg. So place a plastic block on top of each side, then scale down on 0.5, set your scale to 0.5 and then scale it down. Then put your scale back to one and scale out one time on each side. So one and one like that and do the same for this side. So one 
and one. Then scale it out until it's five studs. So as you guys can see, it's five, 0 0.5, and four. So I'm gonna just scale this out until five studs, five, 0 0.5, and four. Now I'm gonna be making the part of the leg, so just place a plastic block on each side like this and scale it in one time. And then scale it up until eight studs like this, and I'm gonna scale it up right here too, like that. Now we're gonna get more servos, so I'm gonna place um, one on this side. Um, I'm gonna face it like this right here, so the light gray part is on the plastic block, and I'm gonna place it right here. Then I'm gonna place another plastic block right here. I'm gonna scale it in and do the same for the other side. So I'm gonna place it right here and scale it in. Now I'm gonna just scale this thing down to five studs. So as you guys can see, I scaled it down to five studs. Now I'm gonna do the same for the other side and scale it down to five studs. Now after you scaled your thing to five studs, what you guys wanna do is scale it up until 14 studs. So I'm gonna scale it up right here until 14 like this. As you guys can see, it says 1, 14, and 2. Now we're just gonna get servos again, so go ahead and get um, your servos and face it outwards. So the light gray um, part is also connected to the plastic block right here, and do the same for the other side right here. We're gonna get our plastic block in again, and we're just gonna place one right here and one right here. Then we're gonna scale it one time in on each side like this. We're gonna scale it one time down like this, and now we're just gonna scale it up until five studs. So as you guys can see, it says one, three, and two right now. We're just gonna scale it up two times, so one, two, like that. And the other side, one, two. Now we're just gonna be making a platform for the torso, so just go ahead and place a plastic block on top of the leg and scale it down one time. Then scale it out evenly on the other side. Now just go ahead and get a wheel, so I'm gonna get my wheel right here and place it on top right here. We're gonna be making an eight by eight platform, so go ahead and place a plastic block on the top of the wheel and scale it down. Then we wanna scale it um, eight long, so I'm just scale it like this. And this is 10 studs long, so I'm going to scale one time in each side. As you guys can see, it's right in the center. You guys can tell with this middle dot of the scale tool. And if it's in the center, then you guys did it correctly. So then just go ahead and scale this block 8 studs wide. So I'm going to scale it like this, and it's 6. So I'm going to scale one time on each side like this. So now we just have an 8 by 8 square. So now go ahead and place a plastic block on each of the sides. And we're just going to go like that. Then scale in one time like this, so one time and one time. And we're just gonna do it for every single side like this. And what you guys wanna do is actually scale this up until eight studs. So I'm just gonna scale it until eight and scale each one until eight like this. Scale these back to, and I'm pretty sure that one was on seven. So I'm gonna scale it one more time like that. Now we're just gonna be making the platform of this thing. So go ahead and put your move on his 0.5 and place a plastic block on the corner. Then scale it down and just scale it until it covers all the sides like that. Now put your move back to one, we're gonna be making the arms now, so go ahead and get your um, servo and just face it like this. And we're just gonna place it halfway right here, and the light gray part should be sticking out like that. So as you guys can see, the light gray part should be sticking out halfway, and then it should be centered halfway on this block. So I'm gonna do the same for the other side, and like this, and I'm just gonna place it right um, here. And as you guys can see, it is halfway on the light gray and the dark gray is facing forward. Now we're just gonna get a plastic block on each side and scale it like this. So I'm just gonna place one right here and scale it up and place one right here and scale it up like that. Then we're gonna put our move on to 0 0.5 and place a plastic block on the corner of each one like this and boom. So now just scale it in one time and scale it down until it's four studs like that. Scale it in one time and then scale it down until it's four studs right here. Now we're just gonna get a servo on each side, so I'm gonna get a servo right here, and I'm gonna just place it right on the corner right here, and then we're just gonna do the same for the other side, like that. Then we're gonna place a plastic block right on the corner, so this is right on the thing right here, so just go one down like this, so one down, and we're just gonna do the same for the other side, so this is right on the thing, and then we're just gonna go one down like that. Then just scale down to 12 studs on each side, so I'm gonna just scale it down like this, and I'm just gonna scale it down on this side, two to 12 studs. Now I'm gonna get a pl another plastic block and place it on the corner right here and then scale it in one time. Then scale it down until it's four studs and then scale it down until it's five studs. So right here it's on two studs right now so I'm just gonna scale it down until five like that. So then I'm gonna do the same for the other side and do it right here. Scale it one time in, scale it down to four studs. I mean five studs so I'm just gonna scale it right there. Then scale it up until it's 10 studs. So I'm just gonna scale it right here and scale it right here. So now we're gonna be making the head. So go ahead and get your glass block and put it halfway and then go one time in like that. By the way, your move is on 0 0.5 still. So I'm gonna do the same for every single side. 
So, I'm going to go one in on this side, and I'm going to do the same for the back. One time in, and this side too, so one time in, like that. So now just scale in on every single one, like this, and I'm just going to scale in like that. Then scale out right here, and then I'm going to scale this out right here, and I'm just going to be making the shape of the head. So basically, um, right here, this is six studs wide, this is four studs, and I'm just going to scale this one back one more time, like that. And I'm just going to scale this right here, scale this right here, I'm actually going to make this a little thicker. So there we go. So now all you have to do is just scale it up until um, four studs, so we're just going to go one, two, like that, and one, two, and then one, two, and then last one, one, two, like that. So there we go, we got our head shape. So now what you guys want to do is go ahead and place a um, another glass block on the top right here. As you guys can see, it's on the corner. Then scale it down one time and then put your scale onto 0.5 and scale it in one time. Then reset your scale onto 1 and then go ahead and scale it across and scale it um, across again. And there we go. So now we got the head right here. Now we're going to get... Now we're going to get boat motors, so I'm actually going to get one over here, so I'm just going to get my one boat motor right here, and we're just going to put our move onto one, and just place one over here, and one on this side. So there we go, we got our two motors inside the torso, and then what you guys want to do is get a plastic block, and we're actually going to um, place a plastic block connecting to the wheel, so the wheel actually doesn't spin. So basically we're just going to place a plastic block right here and don't worry this will be invisible so the wheel will still appear so just scale it inside the wheel and scale it inside right here and scale it all the way to the top right here so there we go it is um connected the torso and the wheel so now just turn this invisible to um transparency to 100 percent and there we go so now it's invisible you guys can still see the wheel now we're gonna be um actually placing our pilot seat inside this glass head so i'm gonna get my pilot seat right here and then just go ahead and place it inside there like that i'm actually gonna do it again i'm gonna delete it again and i'm gonna replace it until it's centered so i'm actually gonna delete it right here and then i'm actually gonna put it right in the middle so i'm just gonna line myself in the middle and go in a little tiny bit right here and just place it like that so there we go it's centered inside the middle of the head so before you guys saw the dancing mode but i'm actually gonna teach you guys how to make it into normal walking mode for now but if you want the dancing mode then just leave it so with the wrench tool click these bottom two servers on the feet and then click these two motors right here and then click these top um arm servos right here and then click this wheel and then click the pilot seat so i'm gonna just click it right here and click it so this basically just disconnects everything make sure to do this step and there we go now what you guys want to do is get a switch so i'm actually going to get my switch over here i'm going to place it down place it somewhere off to the side so it connects to everything you unbinded then place a switch on the top right here and as you guys can see it is connected to nothing so now just delete this other switch that you placed and there we go so now what you guys want to do is just select these two boat motors and select this switch right here so that will actually make it activate. So now all we have to do is just use this um, screwdriver tool to make things invisible and do stuff. So basically select these two by shift, holding shift and then clicking on them. So just hold shift and click on these two. But if you're on mobile, just click on each one and do it separately. So I'm gonna just select these two boat motors and put transparency to 100%. So then you guys can't see it. So now what you guys wanna do with your screwdriver tool is actually select all and put your server torque onto orange. Then next step, what you want to do with your screwdriver tool is go ahead and select this and this and turn off collision so you guys can actually go inside. So you guys are basically done with the tutorial now. Go ahead and feel free to save your actual bot. And now what you guys want to do is get a jetpack. So I'm just going to get a quick jetpack right here and then just fly to the top or use any other flying method and just sit inside the seat. Then what you want to do is select all and unanchor and make sure you had it safe before you do this okay so now to actually turn it on click the switch and there we go so now you guys can walk but actually that switch actually made that arm move so it's an easy fix so i'm just gonna click this servo and click this switch and it unbinds it so then when you do it it doesn't move so now all you have to do is just um go left to right if you're on mobile and then click a and d to go um walking so as you guys can see 
you guys got a working walking mech. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and have fun um, PvPing or anything. By the way, you guys can place dynamite, so I'm just gonna get some dynamite. And you guys can actually explode builds by putting dynamite on your mech. So just, you guys can just paint it, customize it however you guys want. And with the flick of a switch, you guys can actually walk. So anyways, that is all for today. So I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe if you watched to the end. So you guys don't miss out on more tutorials. So anyways, leave questions down below and bye bye